Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again with an update with the E1500 LFP. Now it's been a few weeks, so I thought I'd let it go for uh, a, a few weeks to get it a very, very good trial basis in. Uh, we've had this totally for, uh, I believe, it's got to be a couple months now. And it's been on 24-7, 365 here. Well, not 365 yet, but that's the plan. 24-7, uh, it has zero breaks other than if I wanted to uh, like unhook and move it around the room, which is probably, I think, only one time. I think I've only done that since I got it. Um, as you can see, it's chugging away here. We finally got enough solar. The, the sun is starting to come out a little bit stronger. Now, February is usually a, a, a beginning of a new era, if you will, as far as the solar for, for our deck of the woods anyway. Uh, January is always so gloomy. It's always either cloudy or rainy or snowy or just it's just mush, you know. Uh, so once it got into February, we started picking up solar. So as you can see, I have this hooked still to the 600 watt array, uh, which is six uh, 100 watt uh, Harbor Freight monocrystalline panels, which I, I live and die for those panels. Those are good panels, guys, especially for the money. 100 bucks, you get 100 watts. Um, as you can see, it's only about, I want to say about 9.30 or 9.45 in the morning. And I'm already producing about 400 and 40 watts off of those 600 watt array which is outstanding for panels uh, usually when you buy panels you get like you know like 60 to 80 percent of the rated output which it's it's it seems so unfair but you know I understand how they do it and when uh, when you can get anywhere close to the rated output that's aw that's just absolutely awesome for for panels uh, the the two REC panels that we picked up to the 400 watt panels are on the uh, e2000 LFP which I'll do in a minute I'll update this uh, system as well so people can kind of see what's going on with this one um, uh, which is still good too I mean they've both been running 24/7. But uh, this one, we're going to focus on this one. I'm going to tell you what I liked and what I don't like. Now, if you notice right away, I don't have the Wi-Fi on and I don't have uh, the app uh, activated. And there's a reason for that. So because I have to come into the shop every day anyway, um, I, I figure, well, why waste the extra energy on either the Wi-Fi or the app if you don't need it? So you can easily run this system without the app or the Wi-Fi on if you don't choose to. Now I noticed that that uh, usually burns an extra 10 to 15 watts somewhere in there uh, when that Wi-Fi card is on inside here. So, you know, if, if you're not using it, you know, 15 times 24, that adds up very quickly, right? That's almost like 400 watts a day in Wi-Fi. If you don't need it, turn it off. That'll save you 400 watt hours of power in there. And uh, I, I think that's, you know, well worth it, especially if you don't need it. Um, I only turn it on if I check once in a great while for um, either updates for firmware or the app. Now, the app, uh, when it was 1.2 version, I think that was I think that was the first one. That's the first one I tried. And um, when I tried that one, it's very, very buggy. When I got to 1.4, 1.4 did not work on 50% of the devices that I tried. Uh, so uh, I talked to Pecron and let them know my findings as far as the the phone devices that we have laying around that we were trying them on miscellaneous stuff just to you know just to try to help the community here, and because um, uh, some people were having a lot of trouble connecting that that uh, you know that Wi-Fi app thing, and uh, I, I let them know and then they put out a release which was 1.5. Now once 1.5 came out, it got very very stable. Um, there's still many more things I'd like to see in the app, like a logger and things like that. Um, the actual power factor, I think, would be nice to have in there because, uh, you know, it always says 1.0, which it, it can't be always 1.0 unless you're running like a light bulb or a heat or something like that. It's usually never 1.0. Uh, that's a perfect power rating. Um, so they updated it and now they're on uh, 1.6 so i always get the uh, the apps early before they release them to the public now and then i can try them on at least our devices and you know it, like i said it, it helps out the the uh the the community here and, and the scriber family and that way if if you have something that uh, you want to add to it i can let them know if i can contact them you know and then uh you know th that helps other people so uh, the, 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 the bottom line is to enjoy your equipment, no matter what equipment you buy. I don't care what you buy. I mean, it's your choice. But I always try to get as much information out there because when I started this, it was nothing but commercials. You know, th this is the greatest thing in, since sliced bread and this is this is this and this. That. And, you know, you're not getting what I felt was not a 100% honest review as far as what's out there. It just seems like everyone's trying to sell you something. I, I'm not. I, I have... 
I have literally these two systems I paid my own money for and uh, I've used them every single day. As you can see over there, I mean, these are the first ones that I had and I don't even have them on. I use those for outdoor events and things like that now. Otherwise, I would be using those. But I really enjoy these Pecrons and, and you can't beat the price so far as what I've seen. I'm a big, huge fan of Blue Eddy as well. But uh, the difference in price is like that. So if, if, if you don't have the money to get involved too much in solar power, um, it, it could, boy, it could really empty out your wallet quickly. So you want to make, you know, good decisions or what, what I, what I consider a good decision is a stepping stone. And what I mean by stepping stone is buy what you need to get by now. And then you can always either upgrade, i.e. add extra batteries or something like that, you know, uh, later on. Like I wish this system and this system, both of these took more than two batteries. I, I, I think I would be done with solar, I think. If I could have like four to six to ten to twelve batteries on this thing, or this one, either either one. I mean, I use them both. Uh, this one for more than a year, every single day, guys. Every single day, it's never had a day off. And this one is going in that same direction too. Now, notice those panels. See, 453. That's awesome. I mean, th this is going to top out probably at uh, 500 to 600 um, today. You know, maybe in a couple hours. But uh, th those panels are fantastic. So I leave them on this one all the time. Uh, and then I also have another 318, I don't know if you can read that, it's about 318 uh, coming in, uh, just about uh, eight and a half amps. Uh, this one, I don't have the meter on it. I try to, uh, guys, if, if, you, if you hook up solar panels, try to use these limitedly. And what I mean by that is every time you put a connection in between your solar run and your system, you're you're uh, you're hurting the power input it, it, not by much but you know you're dragging it down because every connection uh, it heats up and when you have heat and power is when you lose energy so you know if you feel these and they feel a little bit warm which see these are and these are not and this is because this is the input side and this is the output so you'll feel this and that extra heat actually hurts your input of energy and a lot of people don't realize that that every time you put a connection in anything well that's one more jump it has to kind of make you know what i mean because it's not a perfect connection it's it's something stuck to something you know um where it's not soldered together or whatnot and you have a straight run so uh if, if you want to have your bet like if, if i were to uh, unplug this now and you see we're getting 320 now this is real-time watts now this is the, the difference too and if i were to hook this straight through and put one of those uh multimeter you know the clampy things on here you would see that i would actually be getting a little bit more power not much but a little bit more power because you don't have that connection and anytime you have a connection you also risk the um the add or you added uh uh extra chance for something to either start uh burning or fire or something like that because remember as those gets hot you know um it's just one more um part of the puzzle that uh, adds extra heat and unwanted energy loss so uh try to run them straight through i do this one on purpose and that's uh for the video so you can see otherwise i wouldn't have a meter because uh this system the the one thing that i really wish that this system had i really really wish um it's been a great system so far. I really wish that this had the dual input up here that the E2000 had. That's the one thing with this system that I miss very dearly is to have a second input up here, the second MPPT uh, controller. But however, uh, even though that's said, um, this one actually is going in through the batteries. Now, because this system updates itself every few seconds to every minute or so, uh, the neat thing is, um, you can have them running through the batteries, and this power meter understands that. So, you know, I'm burning 600, uh, well, about 700 watts right now. I have a heater on right here because uh, you can see I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overfill this today. And uh, I hate losing the extra power, so I always put it on this little heater here. And this heater is, you know, heating up my entire workshop here. So I'm not paying anything for the heat bill today. So, you know, and that's not much, but every penny you save, right, it, that helps the bottom line so you can save for more of this stuff. You can see this is slowly climbing. Every minute or so, you'll see it go up about a one or two watts. Um, everything has uh, been working good. I use this very sparingly. Um, I, I always recommend to people to get an, another uh, fuse or a couple of these just in case, just for backup. I've never popped this yet. Uh, not once. I've only opened it one time to show people on the unboxing of this video what this was and how to change it. It's a very, very simple uh, how to 
pop, you know, pop that up. But do always do that when the system is off, just for safety. You know, you always want to have your engine off if you, you tinker in the engine uh, of your car. So um, this is running um, the 600-watt uh, heater, which is a radiated heater. Um, and then it also is running the 7.4 cubic foot uh, refrigerator. And that's been on every single day. And it's not had one, like I said, not one day off. Ever since we got this, it's been running solid every single day. And the E2000 has been running every day for more than a year. Um, with literally, guys, no zero maintenance. Zero maintenance. I, I've done nothing to this thing. Uh, absolutely nothing. If, if you want to do some maintenance to the machine, I don't know if it would help or not, but maybe. Um, if you want to take the batteries uh, and you swap them, and what I mean by that is th this cable is going into this one and then this one's going into this one, right? So if, if you uh, un uh, turn off the system first and then put this battery up here and have that the first battery, and that that's called cycling, uh, the same as, um, you know, your car. You take your tires and you swap them from side to side so they wear evenly. So, I, 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 like I said, I don't know if it affects these or not, but I do it anyway about once a month or so. And that way, uh, just in case, you know, if it's pulling from one, it seems to be pulling from all three. All the voltages on the, on the app are all the same all the way down all the time. Um, the power meter on the app needs a little bit of um, adjustment, I think. I think it loses between those three meters of the two batteries in the main. But the voltage is what you look at, and if the voltage is always the same, I, I, I don't see a problem in that because that's what you want. You want the voltage to drop 100% equally all the way down, and that's a good thing with the app. Um, but like I said, you, you save a, a, a chunk, almost 400 watts a day not having that app on. I've, I've run this UPS mode, and I've run it with the app on and without just to see, you know, like in standby mode to kind of see what kind of energy it pulls out. And it seems to pull out about 10 to 15-ish watts uh, per hour, which it's not its not much. But like I said, that adds up so fast, guys. It really does. But, uh, yeah, you see that creeping up here. So what I'll do is um, uh, I'm going to uh, do another video with the E2000 to let people know how this one's been doing. And uh, Oh, it, you know what? I, I should finish. I wish this also had uh, more outlets. Uh, I think we talked about that before, the outlets on there. Um, I have not been able to test this fully yet, the uh, 30 amp out, because that's a huge draw out. Uh, and I wanted to get a diesel heater, and I have not been able to pick one up yet. But uh, I, I have been able to pull out about 14 amps out of there so far at 12, 12 volts, um, which it comes out regulated, but um, at like 13 something. But uh, I've only been able to get about 14 watts out of there so far, and that's the device that I have. So I don't have all the tools to do all the fancy stuff. I use average, ordinary, you know, stuff that you would use around the house, and I think that's the best test out there because it's it's uh, uh, not not a meter, but a real device. I want to make sure that the actual device works. You know, I don't know if that's good or bad or either way, but uh, uh, the 100 watt is still uh, working very good. I dump 100 watt into the smaller ones, which is like the Energizer and the um, um, uh, the Mylon. Uh, I wish all the Blue Eddies had that. Uh, uh, you know what, though? The new E300 that's coming out, guys, that's going to have the input-output USB-C, uh, the power delivery port. I, I think I think that is a very, very overlooked option. I, I really do. I think that's probably one of the most important options on this thing because, um, say, just for argument's sake, your input were to burn out. You know, say your M MPPT controller burns out. You can actually go through here, kind of through the back door, and put 100 watts into the system. Now, it's not the most ideal thing to do, but it's a backup plan. And in solar, that's what you want to have, guys. You want to have a backup plan. Um, you know, if you buy one solar power, uh, one solar panel, not a good idea. You should always buy at least two, and then you have a backup plan. And, you know, even if you put them together in an array, and if one goes bad, you have that secondary panel as a backup. So I, I, I think that's uh, very important. The cables, I still love them. Uh, we haven't moved the system much at all, like I said, other than to maybe hot swap the batteries, you know, from one to two. Uh, cables, I absolutely love compared to the original ones because they, they're just so streamlined, as you can see how, how tight they fit in there. It's so perfect. And the input of this one is here, um, and the input of this one is here. So the cool air actually goes in between these and splits up, and that way this system doesn't affect that system. So, um, like I said, I've, I've been pushing this uh, very, very good. You can see I'm 
I'm pulling uh, about 1150 watts or so through the system as a whole uh, not to mention if you add this too so you're you're putting in uh, let's see it's 11 1150 now 12 13 14 yeah, it's 1450 watts now you know this goes up and down obviously um, 1450 watts through the system and this is as loud as it's been so the the cooling system on this thing is much better even though the fans are smaller i would have liked to also see bigger fans i like these fans they're a little larger they're probably a half an inch to an inch larger as far as the uh diameter uh as opposed to this system but it it, it it's a little louder because of that smaller fan but it does its job cooling very well and if you guys want to see i mean like i said this has been going probably for a half an hour now uh, on this video and it's been going before that so let me get a heat gun and you can kind of see where it's at okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to test this little bad boy let's make sure this works here okay so we're going to put it right on the system and you can see i mean that's just above room temperature it's 78 76 75 here i saw 84 oh that was on this thing so obviously this thing heats up here this is what i was referring to so notice that this one is at 84 degrees but this side is at 102 so obviously that is losing a little bit of energy that's what i was saying before about that you know extra connections guys if you don't need them um you know t t take them out and do a straight run i i leave that on there for the video like i said because now you're seeing i'm getting 464 watts through the system and plus another 330 that's a separate array um but i really really miss that second uh input like this one has i really really miss that guys um because then you can see it through the meter as opposed to like it understands it but it doesn't show you on this meter this meter it shows you but not this one so obviously i'm getting 460 plus 330 so that's uh uh almost 800 watts there but notice it's only showing you about 460 so but it is going in the system guys i can i can assure you that because it shows up on the amps of the batteries in the in the app and obviously uh it's showing you here that it's going somewhere and obviously it's going into the battery somewhere so uh when i do have another array on here i wish i had one more array but you know this stuff gets so expensive guys you got to limit yourself sometimes um I wish I had one more array of about 400 watts because you're maxed out at 400 watts on these where this these are 600 watts a piece and, and this is seven but you only get one of them so if, if this had two 700 watt inputs guys that would be the absolute bees knees for this system okay so now the, the fan you're hearing is this one this one's kicking on now um, every every once in a while guys if you ever hear the fans that they sound a little loud sometimes what it is uh because this has been going non-stop for more than a year you actually have dirt and uh, dust buildup on the fan if you if, if you're brave enough to open this you can clean the fans out um or a vacuum cleaner sometimes helps it kind of sucks this you know the bad stuff out of it rather than push it inside there uh and then that'll uh make sure that that's yeah it's coming in at 700 and 780 watts so obviously this one's starting to heat up now but uh, back to this one here um you see 75 the screen is hard to tell 80 you get a lot of now that's the input there so 90 so you're looking at 91 watts input right on the main string guys that's nothing that's nothing remember you're putting almost 1450 watts through the system right now and it's doing nothing um just the average box the batteries obviously stay cool super cool because the batteries are so huge see 72 and i think it was 73 yes yeah, seven, about 74 um super cool I only wish that, uh, like I said, if I could put four batteries on here, I know it'll never stop. You know, <laughs> if I could put four, I want to put six, I want to put eight. Um, I wish I, you, you could have four batteries on this system and four batteries on this. Um, uh, according to the E3600 to the new one that's coming out, someone had mentioned that they talked to uh, Pecron and they had mentioned that the E1500 is not going to be compatible with the new system. Uh, it is, I, I confirmed that with Pecron, the, the uh, E3600 is going to be a 48 volt system. Um, the, the hardest part about dealing with Pecron, and, and that's most companies that are overseas, the, the, the lack of understanding as far as the communication, you know, that, that, that breakdown of the words as far as um, I explain something that seems very obvious to me, common sense to me. But reading it, it gets lost in translation, I think. I, I wish they had an, an ambassador, if you will, or someone in this country that would uh, have 
uh, more of a mainstream idea of what's going on in, in the company, and that way they can explain it better. I, I've always always been a, a, a proponent as far as every company that sells in other countries, they should have at least one person that's uh you know like the 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 spokesperson you know something like that i don't know but uh, you know just to let the people in that country know you know like if you're in germany you want to speak german right and if you're if you're in mexico you want to speak spanish so it's it's a thing like that you know if you're uh canada you know you might want to speak french or something like that or uh you know wherever you are you know lithuania i mean wherever you're coming from around the globe uh, I, I wish that there was always one person that could be like a spokesperson or an ambassador or what, whatever they're called, and that way, you know, people can get more help. I, I've been helping people 24/7, guys. I mean, it's nonstop. I get I get crazy messages in four o'clock in the morning on on, on Facebook and whatnot, and say I can't get the app to go, and it's like, oh boy, I'll I'll try to get to you. Um, if you're having trouble with the app on this one, it's very, very simple, guys. If you hold down these two buttons, okay? Oh, and this is also how to shut it off in case you don't want to use the app. Like I said, I'm not using it for a while because I don't need it. You know what I mean? When there's an update or something like that, th then I'll turn the app on because I have to come in here anyway to check that one. So I might as well just not use the extra energy. So if, if notice it's off here. So if you want to turn it off, say it's on here, you know, say it's lit up and you want to turn it off, you just hold this down like this, okay? And then this this will flash, and then you leave it alone. Now, after it flashes, you'll see this pop up. Okay, this has to be flashing in order for you to to connect with the app. I've showed multiple videos of how to do this. Um, once you get that flashing, it's very simple. And then you uh, you know a lot of people they scan that that QR code. Guys, don't do that. Um, I, I I don't like that. Um, it's it's easier and faster if you just click nearby devices, and then this one will show right up because unless you know you have you know multiple pecrons in your neighborhood you're not going to see more than yours so i do that and, and it clicks up right away you click on it and if if it doesn't link by about halfway around that little turn that little dial it's not going to link but I, i've never had a problem with it other than that first video learning how to do that and then if you want to turn it off guys if you want to turn your your app off or your wi-fi off see i'm burning extra energy now and for no reason so you leave the system alone and let this flash once this flash is long enough, it'll go on what's known as a standby state, and it'll shut down the Wi-Fi in there, and then you don't have any connection, because if you don't need it, you don't want it, right? So, Or if you don't want it, you don't need it. So we'll wait until you, that'll that'll click off. I think it takes about a minute to, uh, it, it times out. Now notice the solar is still coming up there. It's still inching up there. And then this one, 2337. Um, this is an 800 watt array and this is a 600 watt array and notice guys this is an 800 watt array of AccuPower and notice I'm only getting 337 on an 800 watt array however I'm getting 477 on a 600 watt array so those panels are a absolutely guys I wish that Harbor Freight made or or uh, Thunderbolt whoever makes them I think it's Thunderbolt by Harbor Freight I wish they would make two three and four five hundred watt panels I would buy them instantly I like those RECs that we got they're gorgeous panels they're solid black uh, they, they produce good power uh, but I really really like the output power that I've got on these Harbor Freights and they've been up there for oh my gosh at least a year now at least so um, you know they're producing numbers that, that are it, it, it crushes the competition it seems but they're they're cheapy panels you know um they don't have all the ratings and all the specialty stuff but if you use them as a uh, you know a temporary install you know who cares you know put them out in the yard um you know if, they, if they're not permanently hooked up you don't need to pass all those inspections and all that stuff anything that's not permanently installed um you know like a uh, say you put a like an rv in your backyard it's on wheels you don't even have to you know pay taxes and stuff on it because it's it's not connected to the ground so there's no property taxes on an rv but if you installed a mobile home or something like that obviously that would affect your your taxes and permits and whatnot but um so let's just wait till this times out and then we'll end this video here just so you can see it um if you're having trouble connecting guys i would highly recommend uh you know holding these down letting that flash and then trying it multiple times Oh, see, okay, so there, it, it perfect timing. It, it just timed out, guys, and now the Wi-Fi card is in the background, and it's not being used at all. It's 100% shut down, and the power output, uh, it, it doesn't need as much uh, because, you know, you're not using it. So, well, there you go. You got 480 watts approximately, and then you got about 340 here. 
so that's uh, let me set seven it's eight that's about 820 watts coming in um, I I think that's about it guys I, I've had no uh, no problems no issues um, I haven't used this much either because I, I never use barrels guys I don't know if you use barrels for anything I, I just I never seem to use them uh, this I'd love to be able to max out I wish this was 24 volt out that's the one thing I wish that this was I'm very happy that it's 12 volt at 30 amps but I wish it was 24 speaking of 24 the e300 LFP that's coming guys according to the specs of that it has um, 12 volt and 24 volt outputs in a, in barrels i think that's phenomenal for us i i think that's going to be a major hit 200 bucks is nothing to throw at solar power and uh, for the options that that has coming holy crabzilla guys i mean it, your wi-fi in case you want it or need it uh 12 and 24 volt output on a little battery like that that's fantastic right um uh i believe it comes with a brick and it might not because it doesn't say uh, I told Pecron to update the uh, in the box accessory picture so you can kind of see if it comes with a brick I have a feeling it's gonna be a straight-in charger I really do um, there's two flaps on the left side of that system that I don't know what that's gonna go to so um, until I open those flaps or see that I have one coming guys I, I in, in e300 I have one coming and uh, hopefully by the end of this month it'll arrive at the warehouse over there i think it's in california and then they'll ship it over here i'm in the midwest so it'll take a few days obviously to get here but uh, no problems guys i i don't use this much um if you're going to use solar guys uh don't use these together J just don't it causes extra heat extra uh headaches for the system uh like i said anytime you create heat you cr you know create more problems and energy loss um i wish this had the 100 watt power delivery input i wish that um, I wish this had a circuit breaker rather than a fuse, but uh, the fuse is okay. I'm, like I said, I've never popped it. Oh, it also, guys, if you plug this into the wall and it's not charging, this should be the first. I've mentioned this many times, guys. Some people just uh, haven't heard it yet or something. Um, check this fuse and make sure it's not popped because uh, there was a little old lady who had a video. Um, uh, nice little old lady. And, and, you know, she probably bought a, 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 above her her head which is where you buy technology you don't quite understand yet and uh, you know something as simple as this could you know that could fool anybody you know you plug it in you think well it's not charging well you have to make sure the fuse is okay and I, I could not get a hold of her uh, through her YouTube I, I tried and tried and tried but uh, all that energy went wasted I, I, I could not get a hold of her and you know I, she could fix her machine in five seconds if she knew that this fuse uh, was even in there and you have to change it if it's popped but all right, I guess I'm going to let it go, guys. I'm, I'm kind of bringing in the same as what I'm using here. Like I said, I'm heating up the uh, the, the workshop for free here. Um, solid system, guys. As you see, it, it's been running round the clock. I like the dolly that I have it on, guys. The batteries have been very solid. Um, what I want to do is once the E3600 comes out, I want to take these two batteries and put it with two more batteries and then the E3600 on top of that and then use this one for a mobile uh, device where I don't have to take two of those anymore I'll just take this one because I have higher input on one that one maxes out at um, uh, 500 watts input and this one can go all the way up to seven eight if you use that but I don't recommend that guys just do this one if you're just using the system alone um, all right guys well that's that's the update all right we're almost at a thousand subscribers too so if you're not a subscriber hop on the bandwagon guys we're, we're creating like a, a a subscriber family where everybody helps everybody if like in this situation you know with the wi-fi if, if people have questions we try to you know uh, give answers or at least help uh, steer you in the right direction of getting the answers to understanding how to use this stuff so you can better your life with this stuff this this has definitely changed my life completely i don't use motors anymore and that's a huge huge upgrade in my book you know no gas and no smog and no carbon oxide and all that stuff it's just terrible so uh it's definitely helped me but uh don't forget to like the video guys uh show the channel that you care you know pop over once in a while uh leave some comments if you know something you know it's coming out or a new product that you want us to take a look at we're happy to take a look at anything that you post um that's a that's a hobby that's just gone it's gone crazy for me as you can see i got piles of it here but uh all right guys we'll ramble on be safe and we'll definitely see you here again on rambling bob reviews bye guys